or do it again this week? Just sort of how many friends of the family you expect to have there? Oh, yes, sir. I think it's going to be a uh, pretty exciting game for them. Uh, I have a lot of friends and family coming to the game. I think I need uh, over 30 tickets, and I don't know how I'm going to get that done, but it's going to be pretty exciting for me to get back to uh, the family with the people. How many games? Did, I mean, did you go to a lot of games there growing up? Uh, growing up, I didn't uh, attend that many LSU games, but my junior year of high school, I attended uh, almost half of the home games there. It was uh, pretty exciting to take the six. A little different playing there during the day than it is at night, right? I know they, uh, I think you catch a little bit of a break there, not getting them tonight. I know their their record at home, you know, during day games and night games is just completely different for some reason. Uh, I've been to uh, almost uh, I've been to a couple of day games and a lot of night games. Uh, Saturday night in Tiger State was uh, pretty hectic, but I've been to a day game also. I think I've been I've been to the, the uh, LSU Florida game. It was a uh, day game. It was pretty loud environment there also. So I think it's just tough uh, no matter what time you play. You have a lot of young guys on this team. What would you say to them to prepare them? Is there anything you can say to describe to them what it'll be like? Uh, I'll just tell them to uh, don't worry about the fans and things like that. Just there's a stake, uh, keep communicating in the back end and just just play your game and not uh, <coughs> get affected by anything around. Friends, so are you guys ready to go on the road? And the way you won last week's game, how much of a motivation would that be? Uh, it motivates me a lot. Uh, I haven't got a chance to talk to uh, my fellow uh, guys in the back end yet because we haven't had practice yet. But for me, uh, it's gonna it's gonna mean a lot to me because uh, last game I, I think I played my worst game uh, Saturday against uh, UAB. I missed probably the most tackles on the team. So this week of practice is gonna be real big for me and just uh, getting back to my basic uh, fundamental tap tackling and things like that. How much that was fatigue? I mean, I know you don't want to make excuses, but you played 96 snaps, which is a whole, whole, whole lot of snaps. I mean, did, did it get worse as the game went on as you got tired? Uh, I didn't really know I, I was playing that many snaps, but uh, as the game got on, I got a little uh, tired, a little fatigue out there with uh, special teams and all that. But there's, there's no reason for uh, for, for, for an excuse with, with uh, that matter. But uh, I, I think I did wear down a little bit. I think I need to uh, do a better job with uh, Kind of coach, uh, give me a substitute and things like that. So I'm looking forward to getting better at that. Did you guys notice late in the game that there were only 10 players on defense at several times mm -hmm. while the game was going on before watching the film? Uh, no, sir. Uh, no, ma'am. After, uh, <laughs> after, uh, after, after every play we had 10 guys, the uh, referee uh, came up to me and said, uh, do you know you guys only had uh, 10 players out there? I, was, I, I didn't really believe it also. And I came back to the other, uh, uh, two of my coaches, and uh, we tried to make the arrangements from that. What did that referee tell you that? How many times did he tell you that? The referee, uh, I think the referee told me that uh, twice. Uh, twice on defense and once on special teams. Uh, I think we had 10 guys for a field goal also. Yeah, so as far, when you watch film, is that how many showed up? Two on defense, one on special teams? Uh, I, I remember the two that showed up on defense. Uh, yes, sir. Hey, Prentice, you said you need to do a better job of letting coaches know when you need a substitution, but I mean, who do they go to right now? I mean, with sort of how unproven you guys are back there. Who, who could you turn to on the sideline to get a substitution? Uh, right now, uh, I think uh, Tyler Wolf is going to be the next guy to come in whenever, uh, whenever me or uh, Jansen gets tired of uh, going down and things like that because. Uh, in the safety room, we, we know both positions. We learn both safety positions. So basically, uh, Tyler Wolf is going to do you just talked about two, two intercepting turns for a touchdown. And you know, looking back, Saturday was, was huge. You talked about being that kind of guy that you know, makes big plays. How much that helps your confidence? Uh, it helps my confidence, uh, confidence out a lot because uh, coming into the season, I know I had a good cover skill. I think uh, that's one of my strengths in uh, passing the game, being able to uh, come down and cover the slot safety. And, uh, I think it was a big boost to my team. Uh, at that point, I was real uh, frustrated because I, I think I missed a couple tackles before then. So I was just looking to make a big play, uh, make up for all the missed tackles. And when you look at your turnovers and pass rush, it's been something you got to struggle with. When you're in the secondary, mean, how hard is it to hold up? You know, sometimes when they have, they have time to put all these guys in patterns and run their routes. 
Uh, it's, it's pretty tough because uh, you basically you don't know what, what the receiver's going to work for, what type of routes to expect on them. But with the pass rush, it helps out a lot. But it's one thing we don't uh, we don't make an excuse because of the pass rush because we uh, look to compete with the receiver every play. Uh, Oh, we going in and we going out. How much were you recruited by LSU? I was recruited, I was recruited pretty hard by LSU my junior senior year. And uh, I used to attend all the uh, home games. I went to the camps and things like that. And uh, once I came to Knoxville for an official visit, uh, I, I liked the uh, Knoxville and I came to uh, Tennessee after the visit. Hey, baby. My face and Chris Chavis. I think it's gonna be fun, man. Coach Shea is a uh, great coach. Uh, he's he's very aggressive in his play calling. I, I think it's gonna be exciting to watch uh, the LSU defense against our offense. Also. Having been recruited by LSU and choosing Tennessee, do you think that you'll get some extra boos or some extra things from the fans? Uh, yes, man. Well, I, I pretty much expected uh, being in the Tiger Stadium. I know I know what the uh, fans are like down there. They're, they're very. Uh, Big LSU fans, and they, they support that team really well, so I expect it a little bit. We had a chance to win. Friends, were you down there at all in 05 when the whole Katrina thing was going on? They moved the game, and what was it like in that environment? Um, you know, they had to sh I think they had to shift the game, if I'm not mistaken. They went to Monday night. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Play the game on Monday. Uh, obviously, you weren't playing then, but just your sort of, I guess, take on what that was like down there at that time. Yes, sir. I, rem I remember it uh, pretty well because uh, they had shut down all the high school games that weekend also. So it was, it was basically a pretty long weekend for me. And I watched the, I watched the Tennessee LSU game uh, that night. It had a lot of cramps out there. It was, it was real hot. And, uh, it was a good game. It was a good game. And uh, uh, I remember it a lot. Just the, the the atmosphere around Baton Rouge and around Louisiana at that point in time, um, obviously scary, I guess, to a certain degree. But do you remember much about that and what it was like seeing people dealing with this stuff that didn't have anything to do with football? It was really more important in their life than, than maybe the game itself. Uh, yes, I remember because uh, I think uh, during the game they was talking about how the players, uh, family was coming to live with them in their apartment. So. Uh, they weren't really focused on the game, but uh, basically it, it, was, it was a big tragic moment uh, down in Louisiana. I think uh, it, was, it was more than a game to, uh, to the people in Louisiana. They're not awesome. Maybe they hurt you guys crossing routes and slipping guys out of the back. What, what can be done to fix that? Uh, basically, we, we, was in, we was in great coverage. Uh, we was in, uh, the coaches called great. Uh, Play calls on those days. It was just uh, ten out of eleven guys doing everything right, and just one guy uh, doing doing the wrong thing, and just having to make a big play, make communication you know, from the back end. And we take full blame for that. Not, not that we don't put that on the coach. But we ran it, we ran it uh, so many times in practice, and we mess it up in the game. It was pretty frustrating for us. All right, thank you.